Saturday Night Live was fun. That was, that was a nice little run. Yeah, that was a while ago. Was fun. Oh, yeah. People love the Go Boy. They lo love it. People, people still come up to me and like, hey. <laughs> And you know what? Honestly, the whole go thing, that was just me pretending I had Tourette's. <laughs> but instead of swearing, I would, I would do it as a goat noise. And that's how me and my friends in Long Island would get free beer when we were, when we were like 20 years old. We just walk in. It, it throws people off. <laughs> now picture just walking into a quiet establishment. And there's like six people in there and a bartender. And you walk in with your banana head friends. And the bar says, hey, uh, can I help you guys out? Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I need six beers and a... Couple of shots and then we're good to go. And... Drinks are on the house. Go in the corner. Go in the corner. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that, uh, yeah, and I got to meet everyone there. Everyone there. I got to meet uh, Tracy Morgan. I knew for a while. Uh, yeah, he's crazy. He's. I can't hang out with Tracy. You go see a movie, and he's like, "We're gonna go see a movie. I'm gonna take my shirt off, and somebody get pregnant." Oh, 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 oh. Take it down level. Take it down level. <laughs> He's nuts, man. Norm MacDonald. I, I never understood a word. I still don't understand a word he says. Hey, 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 the funniest moment of all Sound at Live that was never filmed. My dad, you know, World War II vet, you know, shuffles around. I'm like, Sylvester Stallone, do you mind meeting my dad? He's like, absolutely, I'd love to. <laughs> Your father would love to meet him, Mr. Brewer, what's going on? You know? And my father's like, hey, what's up, Sylvester? How's it hanging? A little the left? <laughs> Your father's hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> And my father's like, you know, Sylvester, I read somewhere you got a place in Florida. Um, where is that true? And so, as a matter of fact, I got this place, yeah, it's in Hollywood, Florida, believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> That's right, I've been to Florida where he at and somebody got pregnant. Oh, oh. So my father's talking, relax. <laughs> so... <laughs> So my dad goes, hey, they got an Elks Club where you're at, Sylvester? $1.99 beer, all you can drink, and $2 of spaghetti night every Wednesday night. And, you know, spaghetti, and I make the meatballs. And Elks is a good... Sylvester, like, is, is he being serious? I mean, <laughs> is it an Elks Club? What do you mean, like a moose? What is it, what is it a moose? Is it Elks Club? Is it being serious? Like, yeah, $1.99. You know, you can drink spaghetti night, good time, Elks Club. So, Sylvester's like, listen, I, I don't know what you mean by no Elks Club, but the next time you're with me, Mr. B, I'll bring you to my place, Planet Hollywood. Yeah, been there, $20 a beer, $40 a burger. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking you to the Elks. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But well, those were fun days, you know. That was uh, during Half Baked and Saturday Night Live. It was, it was a time in my life where I thought I was taking off. I, yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy where I'm at, but I was like, oh man, the movies are gonna kick in and TV in. And, and thank God, because you're only ready for success. For People take success for different reasons. I mean, what is success? Is it, is it a big house? Is it a nice car? A nice stereo system? You know, yeah, I'm successful! You know, is, it, 
was at a golf club, you know, me and Jeffrey joined the local golf club and <laughs> we're very successful and you need a half a million dollars to even look at the golf club and it's... Yes, I have a bachelor's degree and I'm a doctor and I'm successful. And thank God almighty, I didn't become successful back then because you know, you know what would have happened? Because I was a Hollywood hit. You know what I wanted to become successful? To me, success was... A, right off the bat, leather pants. <laughs> leather pants. Like Eddie Murphy, bright red leather pants. Just, yeah. Successful. Just doesn't even matter. I would go buy groceries, go to the mall, walk around, big leather pants. <laughs> successful. And the other thing I was determined to get to prove how successful I was, was an exotic animal. Not, not like a monkey. I didn't, want a, I didn't want a lion, I wanted a kangaroo. <laughs> I just thought that would be awesome. Like show up at a beach, at a carnival, get a van, get out of my van with my leather pants. You know? <laughs> People are like, what's that guy doing? They open up the back of the van, but crazy kangaroo. <laughs> We're gonna get some cotton candy. Come on. Can I pet? Can I take a picture? Come on, Hoppy, let's go. People are just gathering around, like, what's going on over there? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know, but that guy is really successful. <laughs> what a meatball. <laughs> what a banana, man. Let me get some Susie Q's. Four slices of pizza. <laughs> I was a little Batman. I was infatuated with a Batman. We used to live uh, in Long Island on top of this Chinese couple. They were Chinese. They would live downstairs. They used to get so mad because we lived on top. You know, Long Island, you live upstairs sometimes from downstairs. And so I would put my pillowcase on. I just remember coming out like, oh, what are you doing out there? Oh, we here all day long. You know what I love about Long Island is because I know a lot of you guys were afraid to drive in. Long Islanders don't drive into Manhattan. Well, I ain't driving into Manhattan. <laughs> we don't even call it Manhattan, we call it the city. You going to the city? I ain't driving. <laughs> Take the train. And even the train, we're so, Long Islanders are so afraid to leave Long Island, you know? They, they, you can walk on a platform and it'll say, this train to New York. But she's like, I'm just not sure. <laughs> I'm just like, no. Is this, a is this one go to New York? Yep, yep, that, and then you gotta change it to make her. Change it to make her. Yeah, it's scary, ain't it, man? <laughs> you little white kids changes to Jamaica. Who oh, changes to Jamaica? Who oh, changes to Jamaica? <laughs> and the best is like, I love going back in Long Island. It's like, this train, New York. And the train will come on the opposite end. And Lily Simon said, this train does not go to New York. But it'll come and pfft, people, why is it there? Should we get on it? What are we, the people are getting on. And they're, what are we doing? And then you go to Jamaica, that's the worst. And you ask the guy, like, I definitely have to change at Jamaica to get to Manhattan, right? The city? J to the city? <laughs> yes, change at Jamaica. Just, just check it. So when we stop at Jamaica, <laughs> I'm getting off. Do you know where they tread? Just listen to the announcement. Okay, so there'll be an announcement when we get off at Jamaica. 
got it. And, you know, he's, <laughs> you get off, you're like, oh man, hope this ain't taking long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here they come, here they come. Here they come, the rappers. The rappers. God knows what they'll do, who knows. <laughs> Right, then that train comes. Okay, just let's see now. Is this the one here? New York City. What's he saying? What's he saying? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> so I understand what it took to get here, so thank you for coming out. Lived, lived right by JFK Airport. Yeah. JFK, like seven miles from the airport, and, and anyone lives near the airport, you know, every, this is what you hear, every two minutes, 20 seconds. So uh, maybe meet you later. <laughs> how do you, how do you live by that, man? I mean, I, mean, I, I can't even hear, I live by what? Well. <laughs> And it, and, it, and it would drive my mother nuts because, you know, every time the plane would come over, it's like, every time those planes come over, the whole house is rattling back and forth and my china closet rattles like crazy and they feel like it. I've lost three Hummels already this week. They're getting lower and lower. I lost my little boy who plays the this is right. I, And I, I remember the big thing back then, too, is the Concorde. I don't know if you remember the plane, the Concorde. And Long Island, people like, oh, no, that's, we're, we're not having the Concorde over. We need, no Concorde, no Concorde. We're not going to have it. You know, a group of like eight people weren't going to have it. I'm gonna write a nasty letter if that Concorde comes over. And the Concorde was like a pterodactyl. This thing came over and it was like, you can hear it in Mississippi. So here it comes. <laughs> and roof shingles were flying off and dogs were taken up with a tornado and people <laughs> We're here in Long Island where the Concord has taken several dogs in the neighborhood. And... They took my dog Duffy. If anyone knows where Duffy is and my Hummels, and I just. Don't... <laughs> 